is it possible to organize layers if you design in in the elevation building sections in the floor plan together if you're conceptualizing all three of these or more in the same project this is a pdf set that i brought in to morphology chase and you can see there are many other pages to this existing as built file which we received from vendor and this is just the floor plan for one level you can see the makeup of this file if i turn everything off so if i single tap to this highest layer you can see this is a, a section of this elevation behind it if i turn off this cat background this elevation corresponds to this floor plan so it's almost like you're having both the floor plan and elevation in AutoCAD. And then below that, we have the floor plan in here. I want to show you the size of these. They are all kind of built in a different layer size. And that's because if I'm doing a drawing like this, I don't need to have a trace layer larger than the scope of this. Similarly, if I have an elevation, this is really the extent of what I need my trace layer to be so that I can get as high of a quality in the drawing and in the building itself. This is the size of the, the layer. So these are the drawings I'm able to produce all within one file. And if this is what you're interested, you can actually export all of these as a PDF in a single page like what I have here because each drawing or each layer has all the elements of the drawing you can export each of these trace layers as a page in the pdf so you can see here i have the section as a pdf i have the elevation i have the floor plan and you can decide what print size and the scale size you want to print for each of them and you can see mine is different for this drawing it's on a letter size at a quarter inch scale for the 11 by 17 size and for the 11 by 17 size it's the floor plan is on a eighth inch scale so you can really play around and you have a lot of uh, room to customize what scale you want to print it on now this is what you can get to i want to show you how to set up this file from the get-go so if i turn off my drawings one by one and i'm going to start with this drawing. This underlay is actually the original PDF in this drawing set. So as you can see here, this is the existing entry level floor plan. And what I've done here is without moving this page, I brought in other pages. So you can see in here, I brought in the elevation page from a different page in the drawing set. And you can do that very easily. I'll show you how to do this. You can see this elevation page is brought in. When I brought it in, I flipped it horizontally and vertically. So you can see the elevations actually lines up with the floor plan, but it's upside down. This is probably not what we want to do when we want to get to drawing. It's upside down. I'm going to get to how to create a, a orientation that you actually want to use. And then the third PDF is the PDF where I also brought in the sectional drawing from the same drawing set. This page is also flipped horizontally and vertically. That's why it's upside down. I made some vertical datum lines so I can line up the edges of the building so I know they are all lined up before I actually get to drawing. And you can see the drawing itself is not in this flip or orientation and that's because i created a new trace layer by flipping the building around so this is the correct orientation that i want to be sketching on the only thing you need to do to get to that orientation from here is you literally just rotate your drawing 180 degrees you see how big of a layer you want to have so if I'm interested just to see this much of the elevation, I'm going to build a new trace layer on top of this by clicking on the build trace layer feature. So if I highlight this, now I'm gonna make this into an orange trace. You can see this is the trace layer that I created for myself. 
what the new trace layer will do is remember the orientation of the view that it was created for. So basically it saves the orientation of the layer. Whenever you click on this layer itself, it's going to zoom to the extent and it's going to remember that orientation. So if I go back to this PDF right here, this PDF was brought in at a different orientation, right? And this is not the orientation we're gonna be drawing on. We wanna be drawing in the orientation where it faces us. Now you've created a new trace paper in the right orientation. You can begin drawing with your regular ruler pencil and you have the base elevation that corresponds to the floor plan. I am going to remove this trace layer because that is for demonstration. And now what I'm gonna show you is how to bring in a drawing from a different page onto this drawing and overlay it like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is go to my PDF set. Let me go to this page of the PDF and I'm going to do the same thing of copying this page and bringing it into the floor plan page so I can have both the floor plan and the elevation lined up to, to start to design in elevation. So what you wanna do here first before you do anything else is to absolutely make sure this drawing is calibrated to scale. If it's not calibrated to scale, you can't bring it into the other drawing that's calibrated to scale. When you copy and paste, because both of these drawings is drawn at a quarter inch, we would calibrate it to scale. So when you do copy and paste it, it will land in the same size because both drawing space are in the same scale. I took two ends that I know a dimension of 17, eight. So 17 feet and eight. And here, I'm just gonna do it with you one more time to register this scale. Pick something that's on the longer side. This will help level out the inaccuracy. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna type in 17 and eight inches and click okay. And now this is scale is registered. Now what I would do is to copy this background. So the background layer is on the very bottom, this cat layer. So what I'll do is I'll single tap on these little three dots, I'll copy. And once I hit on copy, you can see a thumbnail of that layer is copied to the very top. And now I'm ready to move this file over. So if I go back to the file, the floor plan that I wanted to move over, let's just pick a different floor plan because we'll start from scratch. Let's go ahead and pick this floor plan. This is the level below, but it's in the same size. So now I have this floor plan in here. I have the, the background in here. You just wanted to make sure that this floor plan is calibrated to scale before you bring in the elevation. If you have like a larger dimension, use that. Right now for demonstration purpose, what I'll do here is I'm going to use both end of this room because I can see that in here, this is 23 feet and three inches. I'm going to click my green check mark to calibrate. The scale is registered. And now I can bring in my elevation. When I click on paste, this elevation is brought in as is. I do not want you to scale this because this was brought in at the same scale. If you use one of these corners on the side to transform it, the two drawings wouldn't match anymore. So because the drawings are brought in at the same scale, just hit on okay. And now this elevation that was brought in from the other page is landing on top. You have a couple of ways to rotate and make this line up. One of them is to decrease the opacity like I do here. And now you can start to move this drawing. So the first thing I want to do right now is to move something, click on the three dots and scale in place. So you can move the drawing like this. And because my elevation and the floor plan is flipped so what i need to do right now before i start to align the two drawing is i'm going to mirror this elevation horizontally and, and, and vertically so that it matches my floor plan so i'm going to hit on mirror horizontally and mirror vertically and now we can move this again 
you can see right now, we can move this elevation to match our floor plan as close as we can. It would help if we had some datum lines to line things up. And that's what I'm going to do here. So without finishing this right now, what I would do here is I'm going to just exit out of this and I am going to draw in some data lines from this file below. So what I'll do here right now is I'm going to draw it right on top of the floor plan from here. I'm going to pick a pen size and turn on my ruler. And I know this is my building roof. And what you'll notice here is I've activated the layer itself that I want to extrude or extend these uh, construction lengths. So I'm going to do it for a couple of my columns just so that we have something to reference back on. And I'm going to do it at the end of my building and maybe the edge of this roof. So now we have these couple of construction lengths that we can use to line up our elevation drawing. Now it's time to line it up. So I'm going to turn on my elevation here and you can see this elevation is opaque, right? So what I can do is I can either decrease the opacity or as I've explained in the previous module, I can also turn the blending mode from normal to multiply. By turning the blending mode from normal to multiply, it's getting rid of all the white space so that you can see the drawings underneath. I'm gonna use my scale tool to line up with the drawings that I have below. You can see that looks like the edge of the building and the edge of the roof. So you can see that took really no time to find those points. And on this side, the, the building edge lines up with the building edge. We have the building lined up for the most part. You can do this as slow as you want, but I think for sketching purposes, this is pretty lined up. So now I'm gonna hit on my check mark. If we want to draw the elevation, looking this way, we're going to rotate our page like this until we are at a point where we're actually drawing our elevation this way. So this is how we bring in a PDF from another page. Once we're happy with the orientation, I'm going to create a new layer to make that a little bit more obvious. I'm going to highlight on this layer and make that orange. So this layer will have the correct orientation for you to do any of the elevation work. You'll have your floor plan as something to correspond to. And the same idea, you can also have your sections that corresponds to the elevation. So this is how I would bring all these different drawings together. And it's really not as hard as you think. It takes a little bit of remembering the key steps, like making sure the drawings are calibrated when you bring it in, using the, the mirroring feature to get it to the side that you need to draw on and creating a new trace layer in the orientation that you want to draw on. So it's entirely possible. Almost it's the same way as you would if you had the different drawings physically printed out. It's almost as you would line it up on the table and put a giant trace roll over that. You need to move things over. You need to make sure that's aligned. So that is the gist of this workflow. 